As the court noted on the 3rd of September. Another day in court. Another snub from the acting inspector general of police was expected to appear before Judge Lawrence Mugambi on Thursday morning to explain the whereabouts of the brothers Aslam Longton, Jamil Longton and activist Bob Njagi was said to have been abducted while in Kitengela. The state told the court that for another time, the acting IG would not make it to the court as he was in Mombasa on an official function. But the judge would hear none of it and the prayers to have the IG appear on a future date were turned down. He would then be required to appear at 3 a.m. or else be held in contempt of court, which could lead to arrest. As for the adjournment of this matter, to Monday, the 12th of September 2024, suggested by the AG, the court finds the requests impossible to implement, considering the AG was fully aware of the order at the point of attending the workshop. And as clearly expressed by one of the petitioners advocate, this session is happening this morning, and the court does not see why the NG did not prioritize the court order over the workshop, noting that the court order is not optional and the AG has to be the same. It should not be like that. The law is there to protect the people, but now it's protecting criminals and wrongdoers. What would follow suit was drama as the family and activists attending the proceedings interrupted the court session, lamenting of the pain caused by the absence of their loved ones abducted in Rongai. The judge was forced to walk out of the courtroom. That will be the same. In an earlier ruling, the judge had instructed that the trio be freed or presented in court, dead or alive, an order that was yet to be adhered to, forcing the court to summon the police boss. This even, as leaders from the Bungela Monainchi caucus congregated at Jivanji Gardens, praying for the abducted and those that lost their lives during the recent Gen Z demos. They insist the abductions will not cow them. As long as we have the rights of our Kenya, we will not be able to do it. 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 Till today, we will not be able to do it. We will not be able to do it. We will not be able to do it. And now, we will not be able to do it. 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 Lakini alia juu mwenyezi mungu ndio naeza katupatia protection yenye tunafaa na yeye tu ndio mungu wetu mwenye naeza katugad. We are not going to stop the protests if we are going to see anything that is going wrong in our country. Because this is not just the country for the parents, it's the country for the youth. This is our society. If we, if we, if we, if we, if we, if we curtail the problems that are facing our people today, that's how we're going to make a better society. They are demanding that the Kitengela trio be released as activist Bom Jage was part of their caucus. If the Attorney General goes to the East African Court of Justice to defend criminals with public funds, Bunge Lamwanenchi will hold her accountable to the oath that she took when she was sworn into office. You cannot use public funds to defend criminals. Attorney General Dorcas Oduor was cautioned against using public funds to defend key government officials sued at the East African Court of Justice. Yes. Martin Opio, K24 TV, Nairobi.